Hello friends, welcome to the fifth part of the best games of Paul Morphy series. Until now, we saw that Morphy was actually waiting for Anderson to come to Paris and then December arrived and as per the promise, Anderson arrived in Paris. They decided to play a friendly match in that whoever wins first seven games will be declared as a champion. And historically, if you see, this was undoubtedly the one of the greatest match ever played because this match was going to be played against between two strongest players of 19th century and it has a big historic significance and in this match Morphy was very young and Anderson was little bit old we know this thing and then what happened is like this match started with Morphy's loss and then Morphy drew and after that Morphy won five games in a row and after that Anderson was little bit shaken he was not understanding what to play and then he even tried to play first move as a3 but that also did not work and then we have arrived in this ninth game which we are going to see in which Morphy is white and Anderson is black in this game Morphy just demolished Anderson in just 17 moves we can say that he was a true king hunter so without further delay let's get started and see how Morphy played against Anderson very beautifully in this game so game started with e4 anderson played c5 knight to the f3 knight to the c6 this is already a great improvement at that time we can say that they started playing sicilian which was a little bit rare at that time now everybody plays sicilian quite frequently so d4 c into d4 knight into d4 and black plays e6 well in this position white played knight to the b5 and black played d6 here White played bishop to the f4 that is Morphy and this was actually one of the favorite moves of Fisher also later in the uh, 20th century and also there was also one, one move possible that is bishop to the c4. Well here black played e5 because there was a pressure on d6 square and after this white played bishop to the e3 and here Anderson played a very interesting move you can say that is f5. Well, this was like his nature. He always wanted to try something aggressive in each and every position. That's why he went for this move. Now we know this thing that black should develop his piece with knight to the f6 and that is much more better option than f5 because even if we play bishop to the g5, a6 will be played and okay, we can go back to the c3 square and this position will be normal. Well, that time the era was little bit different they always tried to play something aggressive so anderson played f5 and here morphy was a very cool header person he just played knight 1 c3 without paying too much attention towards the f5 pawn and here anderson thought okay now i can play f4 and then bishop will be pushed back and he will be having a great position on the king side but morphy was not in any mood to go back in this position there is no going back he played a brilliant move that is centralizing his knight in the center of the board and he played knight to the d5 surprising anderson well there are some threats now he is going to give a check and there will be a fork on rook and king so black needs to be a little bit careful but anderson thought like now there is no better option than to capture the bishop on e3 so he played f into e3 in this position and now morphy gave knight b c7 check king f7 played here white obviously has the option like to play knight into a8 but morphy wanted to go after anderson's king he doesn't want to go anywhere he doesn't want to get distracted that's why he plays queen to the f3 check knight f6 and now bishop to the c4 he is still not taking the rook on a8 because he is eyeing towards black's king and in this position black played a good move he played knight to the d4 attacking the queen on f3 so what to do now your queen is being attacked but as you are morphy means if you think like you are morphy you will think that okay my queen is attacked but i can attack his king and morphy played knight into f6 giving the discovered check to this black's king now here anderson thought for a while and he decided to play d5 i'll tell you what was other option before going to the d5 move well black can play king to the g6 in this position but there is a problem in this position that queen h5 check will come then king into f6 and after knight to the e8 check black must give up the queen because even if you play king to the e7 in this position queen f7 will lead to check and mate 
So here to survive in the game, black must play queen into e8, queen into e8. Well, the position might go on for a while, but white will be having a great position and probably he will win quite quickly after even if e2 check then bishop into e2, knight into a1 if it's played, then white has a nice move that is g4 and the, with the idea of g5, the rook will also come in the game. Even though black has sufficient material to play against the king, uh, against the queen, black's king is going to fall now and that is not something good. But Anderson thought that he might trick his opponent, that's why first he went for d5 move. Now you will understand what is the trick behind it. Okay, now bishop into d5 check and here Anderson thought after king to the g6, queen h5 check, then king into f6, knight e8 check is not working because after queen into e8, queen into e8, bishop to the g5 check is coming and black will pick up the queen on e8 because this is a discovered attack. But obviously Morphy had seen this thing and without going to this knight e8 check, he played an amazing move. That move was f into e3. Well, just to uh, see what was black's best option in this position was to play queen instead of king to the g6, black could have played queen into d5 and the game could have continued for a much more longer time because after, let's suppose you play this check, deck, knight into f3, then g into f3, e into f2, king into f2, the game will prolong but White will be having a great position because his knights are quite strong, the black's pieces are not that good and especially I feel like the rook will also join the game and this is a pleasant end game for white. So maybe this is the best option for black was there but as I told you Anderson was thinking that he is having a defense, defensible position in this position. But it was not like that. After king to the g6, queen h5 check was played. After king into f6, Morphy played a nice move that is f into e3 and suddenly the king on f6 is going to be a checkmated here in this position black played knight to the c2 check and after king to the e2 he just resigned well just for the sake of clarity we will see what will happen but instead of knight to the c2 even if black plays queen to the c7 still he, this position black will not be able to survive after rook to the f1 check if knight f5 then rook into f5 bishop into f5, queen into f5, king e7 and now queen e6 check, king to the d8 and now a good move that is long castle. Again black's king is coming under fire in this position even though white is rook down black's king is not going to survive after bishop to the d6, bishop into b7 and now rook into d6 check is coming black will be doomed in this position. So knight into c2 and after king e2 actually here black just resigned but for the sake of clarity we will see what would have happened? Let's suppose he captures the rook on a1, then white can give rook f1 check, then the king e7, then now queen into e5 check. King is not having any good moves, he needs to go to the d7, so that is the only square he has. And now we will play bishop to the e6 check, keeping the support of this. Now again he has only square that is king to the c6, now we will give rook to the c1 check, king to the b6 and now the king hunt will be completed with queen to the b5 check and mate. So you can see that Morphy really played in a modern day kind of a fashion. Like he understood what his opponent wants to do. He was like a visionary you can say. Like he understood that you need to pay attention to your opponent's threat and accordingly you should play your moves. You should not just think in your terms. That is very important. Understanding your opponent's threats and ideas. And another thing we can say like uh, obviously Morphy was a great attacking player and I hope you enjoyed this king hunt and uh, if you are not subscribed to my channel till now do subscribe. This was actually a very very historic match played by Morphy against Anderson. So we'll meet again with some new game till then take care and goodbye.